little unrelated tip to this video. Uh, if you can, make sure that you can somehow mark where your chair sits for when you record videos. Because, uh, yeah, I just spent 10 minutes trying to figure out where this is supposed to go. Everybody loves a good combo, right? Peanut butter and jelly, marshmallows, chocolate and graham crackers, peanut butter and chocolate. I know I said peanut butter twice, but it's just that good and it deserves all the praise. Another good combo is gamer and streamer. And we're gonna combine those today because I'm gonna talk about five games that not only am I excited for as a gamer, but I'm gonna tell you why these five games excite me as a streamer. So everybody, before we get any further, I just wanna say that this list of five games is in no particular order. I just thought of five games I'm really, really excited about. And then I realized that four of them are spooky games, which I don't know, maybe that's becoming my favorite genre? I don't know if it's becoming my favorite genre, but I've been having a lot of fun with it and I feel like there's been a lot of innovation with that type of game. Also, my audience loves seeing me be scared. How about we get into the list and starting at number one, we are gonna talk about Choo Choo Charles. Have you been sitting there and just thought, what if Thomas the Tank Engine was more than just a tank engine? What if he was a, sp he, they, I don't know. Now, is there lore, Thomas the Tank? Engine, imagine Thomas as a spider that chases you around a map because that's the game. You are building your own like train to outrun this monster that is a spider with a terrifying face. I know you run into like villagers and you're trying to help them on this island. I think it's an island, but there are guns there's building, there's survival, there's story. I can already imagine having my chat screaming at me and also trying to just get me wrecked. I think that's part of why they love watching me play these games because they can laugh at me, which is fine. It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> and thinking about that connection of the audience yelling and, and whatnot, that I think is why I'm really excited. The chat will be there to cheer you on, they'll laugh with you, they'll, they'll get scared with you. Maybe it's also just the absurdity of the whole thing that's that's making me excited that we'll be playing this game together and like, look, look at this ridiculous thing. It just seems to already have that built in camaraderie with your viewers. The art style looks fun. It's just different and it seems like something that gaming as a whole needs right now. It's just something really, really different. I don't think we have a full-fledged release date for this just yet. I know it's supposed to come out in 2022. So hopefully it's, it's maybe around Halloween or whatnot like that. That'd be fun. Just this spider train chasing you and you play that on Halloween with your viewers, maybe dressed up. Mm. Ooh, ooh, I need it. Now from spider trains to just gore and survival, because the next game on my list is the Callisto Protocol, which if you haven't heard of this, this is from one of the co-creators of Dead Space, which, spoiler alert, also shows up on this list, but we're gonna talk about that when we get there. The Callisto Protocol is a third person survival game, which you already have me. I, I love third person games so much. It's my favorite type of game. Not only am I getting a game that's gonna be scary and survival, but it's coming from a creator of one of my favorite games of all time. This feels like a roller coaster. The audience gets to fully just buckle in and go on this roller coaster and just hang out with you while you play this game, which is really, really cool to think as a streamer because as our jobs, it's a lot of time that we do, we need to be entertaining. We need to, we need to do this, we need to react and, and whatnot. And if you have a game that is just as fun to watch as to play, it helps you as the streamer out and it helps you feel a little bit more relaxed and you know that your audience is having fun. And what better season for a scary game than Crimbus time? Because this comes out, or at least it's supposed to, this year in December, I think December 2nd. So, uh, Get your little, uh, your little winter coat. You get some hot cocoa. 
and scream with your audience. And since I just mentioned it, we might as well talk about the Dead Space remake. This remake is more than just pretty graphics and a little bit better controls. I think it's a complete from the ground up remake. And they're, they're combining stories because Dead Space is a trilogy. Not really. I think it has two games and then the third one doesn't exist. And they've, they've stated that for this remake that they're going to be combining story elements from all the games because now they know the whole story. They're able to put that into the first game. I'm here for it. I know that there's been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of remakes lately. I haven't touched it again since my original playthrough of it back on the PS3 is what I, I think I played on the PS3. And I remember loving it. I loved it so much that I even tried to make a little marker, which is like a little statue thing in the game that causes a whole bunch of mm, spooky and whatnot. I tried making that out of clay, which thinking back might explain a lot about me, but yeah, that's past Concho. That's not me. Or is it? <laughs> and the fact that the Callisto Protocol comes out in December, and this is slated for January of 2023. So it's gonna be so much fun to play Callisto and then Dead Space back to back and be able to compare and contrast with my audience. Usually, you know, you play a game and then maybe the sequel comes out a few years out and whatnot. And while these games are, are different, they have similar core mechanics. They have similar kind of look. So it's gonna be fun to be able to engage with your audience and go, okay, which one did you like more? Did you like how they handled it? Did you like the Dead Space remake and, and have these conversations? If you don't like scary games, I would say for sure, it, don't play it. But you would be missing out on a cool opportunity to connect with your community and bring them in on, on your streaming journey. Well, to keep the tradition rolling, we're gonna talk about another remake because number four on my list is resident why did i add why did i add such a weird break there is resident evil 4 remake which i think it's been remade before or it's been remastered but i don't know i loved number four that was honestly for whatever reason i was never huge into the resident evil games but when four finally came to the ps2 i played it so much i loved it and I'm excited to experience that again with a new wave of audience members because I didn't have people watching me back in my PS2 days. It was just little old Concho playing games and saying his thoughts out loud, which is definitely weirder when you don't have a camera on you, but eh, whatever. It does feel like Capcom, especially with these remakes, is putting effort and care into them. And I think with the Resident Evil 4 remake, you're gonna be able to get a lot of similar stuff that you are with Callisto Protocol and Dead Space. You'll be able to talk to your viewers and hey, how was your experience with the original versus how you're feeling with this? Originally when Resident Evil 4 came out and they switched to the third person camera that they use now, it created a tidal wave through the gaming community and developers started doing more third person and more of that style of over the shoulder the way they do. And it's interesting to see and talk to your audience. How does the remake stack up? Is it going to feel new? Is it going to feel dated somehow? Or is it going to become another beacon I don't want to say beacon of change. That seems like a, a very high and mighty title, but you never know. Will this remake become kind of another beacon in gaming where, hey, look at what we're doing and other developers are going to want to utilize that and implement it into their games. So while there's no release month or whatnot, this is scheduled to come out in 2023. We'll see. I do feel like Capcom does tend to move their games here, or there, or whatnot, but here's to hoping. And now to the final game on the list, which I guess now that I think about it more is also kind of a horror game. Hey, spooky genre is putting in the work and coming out with some really cool ideas. This game is called Nightingale. This is a, ooh, hold on. I need to get the description because it's, it's mwah. Nightingale is a shared world survival crafting game set in a rich gas lamp Victorian fantasy setting. I've never had all those words put together to describe a game. 
this is great. This is this is so much fun because it it's different. It's that crafting survival you build, you can team up with people, but just the the twist that they're doing on it seems to be really cool. And while I don't have a lot of information on this game, there is one short and sweet reason why I'm excited about it. And that is for the co-op. While the other games on this list are a little bit more for the audience just to watch you, this is one that you can really actually play with them. Invite them in, set up subs have priority or set up waitlist, all of that. You'll be able to fully, fully interact with your viewers. And who knows, maybe this game will be able to have RP like GTA has and whatnot. We just don't know yet, but it's a survival game. So there's gonna be chaos, trees falling on people, all of that. And it'll be a good way to team up with your viewers, maybe somehow do different team ups, maybe do just one life runs or so. I don't know. The possibilities seem really cool with this, especially with how different just the whole take on the genre is. And with that, I think the biggest takeaway from this video is just seeing the different interactivity each of these five games is gonna to provide to you as a streamer. It's it's always important to include and, and bring in the people that support you. And each of these games are gonna do it in a different way, which should really excite you as a streamer or just as a content creator in general, because I'm sure there's just gonna be funny videos that can come out of all of these. There's also probably a whole bunch of other games I'm just spacing on, but the end of this year, early next year is looking good for streamers, for gamers as a whole. So fill me in on what you're most excited about. That's a good question. I'm getting a little bit better at this. Down in the comments, tell me the game that you are most excited about and why. Tell me why. I couldn't help it. And like you hear in every video, if you enjoy this, please like it, hit the little notification icon so you know when videos are dropping. I release a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. You can catch me on Twitch as well every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And you can catch me live here on Tuesdays. That's a lot of con joke. I am, I'm realizing just how much content I put out. As a, uh, yeah, that's a lot. Thank you everybody for watching and uh, I'll see you next video. I don't have an outro, so we're just gonna kinda keep making my voice better.